Tuina be tuli de yomungambo nti okukutane Irene Nambiru. What's the relationship between you and Irene Nambiru? Uh, my relationship, yes, people were asking me, I, I, what, Maro and, and Irene have a relationship. Yes, we have a relationship and it is professional. She's, a, she's one, uh, I cannot deny that she's beautiful, but she's one also talented, beautiful woman because she has the greatest voices I've ever heard in Uganda. And I'm glad that she's my friend. We share a lot. She has businesses she calls me and tells me about. I have a business, I call her, she, she's recording at my studio. We recorded Addicted and we are still, I write for her some of the songs. We, uh, she discusses with me her business, like the music business, and I share my ideas. Uh, if you actually didn't know, when she did a concert, um, is it last year but one, some, something like that, on the 13th of, of December, she did a concert some some year i think that's 2020 is it 2016 or yeah 20, 2016 i am the one who like initiated i said you know you can do this we can we can actually make a concert you can do a concert uh, and and you know you have a lot of charity organizations you can support them by doing your concert and then give them that money and she she loves charity so we did that the, the, the initial preparations then we called upon people who organized it so it's so professional and I'm just glad that she's my friend too yeah so hi guys welcome back to my channel Dennis Duke is my name and of course you're watching this content I don't know which channel but of course if you are watching it from Duke's media TV congratulations you are in the right place but of course if you're watching it from uh, Dennis Duke Uganda that's also the right place to be so make it a point to first start by subscribing welcome to my show thank you very much uh, and but the interviews Nay, it's because I, uh, in, in four months I was touring in, uh, in Germany and France. Then when I came back, before I actually, in that same course at NFNA, my daughter, um, she's a bouncing baby girl, she's really amazing. Cutting her all that time, I needed time alone to myself and also with family. So that's why I wasn't so much into media, but I was sending the music. And nature, there was, there was a Njagara and there's a Njagara remix just to make people remember that, okay, there's more, okay. yeah. So if you're watching us for the very first time, I'm having Maru. He does not need any kind of introduction because he's been here for quite long. So for us who've been here for quite long, unless you're new, like Ngoli Wamwaka Gumu, but for people who've been around, at least they understand who exactly you are. So briefly, uh, Musically, I'm really, I, I, I don't complain. I don't complain. I, I've had... In fact, let me put it this way. Not on you, but musically as ah. a country. Okay, as, as a country, as a country, we are getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. The, the, there's no way, uh, there's no country that doesn't get uh, to fall before they rise. So all the stumbling blocks that you see us having some poor quality music, pure quality audio, uh, people rushing in, uh, getting five songs in a week, and then none is remembered. All that is like we are stumbling, but we will stand. And, and, I, and I'm loving the stumbles because it shows that we are working onto something. As long as you start something, we not your turn to say, oh, we'll sing at an uh, we sing at zero. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really grateful to the, to the fraternity because we are fighting to find uh, Uganda but I think one day we will find it yeah uh, somebody might be wondering in 2019 who are those particular artists that you could possibly mention Ogamenti Onogundi Ono Nono Noli Noli Bakoze Gunomwaka Bakubagende Debulund 
Well, I really, I really think it's only really John Black. It's not because he's, because he's my brother, but truth is, John Black is one lucky, I don't know, lack of a better word, one lucky brother. <laughs> Let me say that. Uh, he's, a band, he's a boy who has been on top with top hits ever since a year ago, and, and still now it's two years on the road, down the road, and no one, no one has had great success than him. Uh, that he ended up even having a great concert great concerts and great tour and even if he releases a song like today like he released yesterday people love it and and it's not one person but they love him the way he is and it is one guy who is humble so i i believe from uh, my perspective i feel like there's one lucky person and that has been john black uh, other artists uh, I I've not seen I've not seen just on the mainstream it's John Black but when I say when I talk about me I feel like I was so so really really lucky because I was touring with one of the biggest artists in in, in Europe his name is Mark Foster and uh, I think before the year ends you will see an, a video another video that we've done with him and the actual album also went platinum where we feature and we feature me and and Maurice Kiria so me as me, I've also enjoyed some things that have, have really uh, come my way. Yeah. Uh, you know, as we came here, you were possibly having a press conference. Yes. So just before we go into another question or other questions, would love to know what exactly were you talking about in the press conference so that somebody that didn't capture that can also get to understand it. Well, I, I was talking about Maro at 10, which is a concert uh, dubbed Anjagala Live Concert, and it's going to happen on uh, on 14th February, Valentine's Day 2020, at Mestil in Zambia. Um, I've taken the party to Zambia because Zambia, that's where my, my, my journey started. And uh, Mestil Hotel sits on the on the on my childhood playground. So that's that's where I want my people to come and celebrate Maro at 10. So uh, it's Valentine's Day because Anjagala is a love song and it has been here for a full year and it's still rocking and still growing. It grows slowly and slowly. It's not a song that is boom, it's not a boom song, it's just a song that you enjoy and every day you get to share it with another person. So why not share it live with my people and as I remind them about the old songs, ever since Sula Bulunji, ever since Tonedaga, ever since, you know, again the one way, Mubi Bubi, Kambo Ine, all the songs, Nzira Nago, Nkwenda, Biwewo, all the songs. So I want to give them a package and I'm also doing a, a documentary that you will get if you buy Alibar tickets. Alibar tickets are going to go for 30,000, uh, that is ordinary, and VIP 80,000. At the gate, we will have 100,000 and, uh, and of course, 50,000. So, yeah. Kalango nga kamazo yitao, kumanga kaba de kalango. We are going into the year of more politics, really active politics. Should we expect Maro to possibly join politics or support any other candidate for that matter? I don't, I don't, I don't believe that a musician has to support a politician because one thing. you were supporting I'm telling you, my perspective is, I think you are a prophet, you are a person that people believe in, and you are spiritual in a way. The on, they are only musicians that a person can die for. The president you die for, but you die for because you are, uh, you are in a job. But for us, there are people who say, you know, we are the only people who have those people who are diehards. So if you mislead those people and say, I'm supporting ABC, and then all of a sudden that person betrays them, you are not the saint that they see every day. So to prevent that, I think musicians should stay neutral unless they are political. That's my point. Like, unless they are political, because for example, there are people who are political in this industry. We've had Bebe Cool talk about politics ever since, and Bobby One has talked about politics ever since. So those people are political. But if you're not, and you can you can be neutral, I think it's good for a musician because a musician has different messages to send. You can be humanitarian as you can, as I am, because that's the same thing. The humanitarians are doing the same things that the governments are doing or the politicians are doing. On a low scale or bigger scale, 
doesn't matter. We are doing it for people and we are advising people and you know, okay. grooming them.